what's up buttercup so how are you guys doing on this magnificently golden day so um yeah again i'm wearing the same shirt i was wearing in my two previous videos uh but that's because i am about to start working on the golden dots and sweaty zx and i'm gonna start by cutting the white the flares for a wide body so first of all i'm just gonna show you the wheels that i got mm. god these wheels are fat just look at the girth look at that mm. So these are, um, I think they're Bassett Racing or I'll leave the name in the description below, but they are 15 by 10 wheels and they are amazing. But I've never seen them go on a Datsun 280ZX before. And so we're gonna figure out how that's gonna work right now. And I'm gonna show you guys why I'm doing the wide body chopping. So let's do this. Oh my God, it's so heavy, it's heavy, it's heavy. Oh, like, yeah. They're probably not going to fit, <laughs> like literally, like look at the clearance. They're probably not going to fit, so I'm probably going to need to chop out like half of this. I don't know again, I'm not 100% sure, so I'm going to mark it out and then we're going to start chopping. But just look at the wheels, man. Just imagine that on the car. Mm. And imagine it lower. Like usually people get like wheels for these things and they're like extremely massive but I just want to see what a mini setup would look like on this car and hopefully the wheels can take it because or the um, the axles or whatever can take it because they're heavy so heavy 15 by 10s they are literally racing wheels I don't even think they're meant for the street but I'm gonna use them for the street so with that uh, Look at it. It looks just terrible <laughs> right now. But what I have to do is, so I have to take off the bumpers now because I'm about to cut this wide body. So I'm gonna have to take off the bumpers because obviously this plastic piece is interfering because I wanna like, go, I wanna follow this body line and chop off. So this is interfering. So I'm gonna take off the entire bumper. So I'm gonna screw out that, boom. Disconnect, disconnectors down there. Actually, I'm just gonna start now. Actually, I don't think I can do this one. I'm gonna disconnect this wire. There's another one there. And I'm gonna start taking out these guys, the shock absorber thingies. That's one assembly. So, yeah. I'm tuning for the back too. I'm gonna remove these guys, probably take off the bumpers, take it as one assembly, and start chopping. 40 years of rust. So right now I have to remove the bumper supports. So there's like, two of these shock absorber thingies which connect the front bumper and I mean I could do it like this and remove like four from the back there but there's like four bolts or whatever but the best part the best thing is just to remove the exact the attachment and so for that you can't really see but there's like four bolts that bolt this you can maybe see it from nope you can't still see it from here but yeah I'm gonna take out the whole thing take I've taken out that taken out the other side and then yeah we should be good to go very easy. These cars are so easy to work on. It's amazing. gosh what have I done <laughs> it's all gone 
Literally, there's a half part of my fender that's missing. But it's fine. <laughs> I love working on old cars. It's just fun. I mean, I kind of messed up a little bit. So you kind of like see, a, I'm kind of messed up there, but it's not going to be showing. It's going to be covered up. So we're golden to go. So, so far the progress has been, boom, chop that off. I still need to chop that off. I haven't done it yet. Um, I had to abandon the project because, I'm not really abandon it, but I had to let it go for a day or two because I need to, because it's too wide. <laughs> it's too wide. Because initially the fender flares I had were these guys. Hmm? I think these are the regular, uh, uh, what's it called? Oh, the regular Datsun white body flares. But look at this. Look, when I put it on, it literally doesn't even fit at all. Like I still have like a bunch of inches, like about six or six inches or so, five to six inches here. So I need to get like five or six inch flares. So I have to get five or six inch fender flares until I'm just trying to find some. I haven't found any yet. So if you guys have any clue as to where I can find them, please let me know. Oh crap. But yeah, it's so wide. Oh, and I don't even have any spacers at all. So imagine if I put spacers, which I'm probably never gonna do. But yeah, again, it's like three inch back spacing. So that's why it's like that. So if you guys are looking for wheels, whew, I'm the experiment. So now I'm gonna start cutting this. But first, I'm gonna have to take off this bumper because yeah, <coughs> it's kinda gonna interfere with this guy and I need to chop him out. So I'm gonna take out the rear bumper. I've taken out the front bumper. And I feel like the, the, the Datsun 280ZX, it looks so much better without the bumper. So I'm gonna find a way because those bumpers, the way they stick out just doesn't look cool. So I'm gonna figure out a way to make bumpers for, or like, to make something in place of the bumpers for this Datsun, like something with like uh, aluminum plates or something. I don't know. Let me know if there's anything out there, but I don't think they make them for these. I know there's the air dams, but there's still gonna be like a space between like the grill and all that. So I'm gonna try to see if I can make some plate thingy to cover that up. So for now, let's get to removing this bumper. For this, this car is so easy to work on. There's eight, eight bolts, I'll show you. Under the car right now. So, uh, oh my gosh. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Yeah. So there, you probably are going to be unable to see it. But where that is, where the shock or whatever attaches to the bumper itself, we're just going to take out the whole assembly, which is back there. There's like eight bolts. So there's four on this side, four on that side. So yeah, let's do that. So I just finished taking out all the bolts. They're over there. If you can see, they're like chilling over yonder but now i'm gonna go ahead and see if i can actually remove this thing come on man Okay, so this part has two, two layers of metal. So there's the outside one and there's the interior one. So I've cut through the outside part, but I still need to chop the interior one. So I'm gonna like use a plate pair of pliers and try to open it up and then figure out the rest as I go. yeah oh my gosh what have i done again <laughs> what this just looks yeah <laughs> it looks so stupid look at it mm. so what i've done is that i have um bent i cut um grooves not grooves i don't know slashes in the metal and then bent everything up so i could probably try to weld these things 
together, weld both. But the problem now is that I have no idea how to weld. So I'm gonna, yeah. And I don't really know anyone that has a welder that will borrow it to me or lend it to me to work on my welding skills. However, I'm probably going to try to use body filler and join both parts, if that makes sense. <laughs> I would look for like a metal adhesive or something. But I'm not 100% sure exactly how I'm gonna join both parts. But um, yeah, if you guys know any way of joining the both parts without welding, let me know. Or if you guys know of any welder that's in the Southern California area that can come to help me weld it. Um, yeah, that's in the LA area. Yeah, North Hollywood-ish area. Please let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will continue working on the rest of the fender. So now I have two done. So if you take a look at it, <laughs> it looks so stupid. <sighs> but yes, so I'm gonna see how many how many inches it's sticking out right now. So that wheel crap. It's kind of like around the oh crap crap crap. I have one job one job. Okay. Like look at it. It's literally six inches that's sticking out. So, yep, I'm gonna have to do the six inch wide body flares. <laughs> oh my god. Damn. Yep. Uh, I dug myself a hole for this one. <laughs> Why did I get so wide, Bill? <laughs> Just look at how wide it is. Look at it. Ooh, that was a BMW and X6M, but yeah. Look at the amount of ground clearance I have. Like, look at the amount of ground clearance. <laughs> I'm gonna measure it so you guys know how much, how many inches um, of clearance I have. It's about a foot, literally a foot of clearance. That is insane. But I'm gonna put, oh, uh, of course, the flares, and then I'm gonna lower it. So first of all, yeah, I'm so, <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited with this house gonna turn. I'm gonna go into a full paint job on this. And I'm also gonna be getting fender mirrors, which are, they're there now, but I'm gonna move them to kind of like around there. So stay tuned for that. Oh, I'm so excited to see the finished product of this. It looks terrible right now with the unbalanced side. Again, this is what it looks like from this side. And then you can see it's kind of tilted. That's because this side is still very stark and very ugly. So yes, I'm excited for the changes that are coming. Oh, I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Okay, well now I have to go work. Um, yeah, bye.